Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a stretching routine. So I'm going to just stretch how to get your back, back flexibility stretched and just everything. So, and I also have some stunt stands that I'm going to be showing y'all and doing. So the first thing you want to do is put your legs wide out in the straddle. So next, reach to your left. Hold it for 10 seconds. 8, 5, 4. Now you want to reach to your right. And if you can, try to do bow and arrow. Which what you do is reach your opposite arm of your leg over and grab your foot and pull the leg that you reach here over here. So you can get your bow here. Five. Eight. Okay, so next you want to reach to the middle. And try to keep I'm um I need to start doing this too. Try to keep your feet up so you can get your hips rotated up. And hold this for ten seconds. Okay. Next you want to do a pipe. So put your legs together and arms up. And reach down. Hold this for 10 seconds. Everything we're almost going to hold for 10 seconds. Um, because you should do this three times. So, do this, take a little break. Do this, take a little break. And then do this again. And then you're done. Okay, next, you want to do your stand up, and sorry if you can't see my face, but stand up in a line, keep your hands on your hips, and push your foot, and push your knee forward, so like, kind of push your hips forward. Okay, next you want to straighten out your leg and reach to your nose. Five. Okay, good. Now you want to slide out to, into your split. And it's okay if you can't go all the way down, but if you can go all the way down, put your hand in a T or try to reach back to get your back flex ability good. And we're just gonna hold this for one minute. Okay, and if you're not all the way down like I just said, but you're close to down, put your arms in a T, but if you're all the way down and it's easy, then reach back. This will help you get your needle. And we're holding this for a minute. And the more you do this, the more your back will get flexible, so the more you can reach back, and soon you can reach back all the way and do a needle. But I still can't do this. So this is my good leg. And you can also reach down. So you can choose. Um, but Okay. 
So now, you want to do the same thing, but for your opposite leg. So I will put this leg up. So your bad leg or good leg, whichever. That, I'm doing my bad leg now. So you want to do the same thing. Reach for it. Eight. Five. One. Okay. So now you want to straighten out your knee and reach for it. Eight, five, okay, so now you want to slide out to your split, guys, this is my bad leg, so I'm not going to reach back because I'm all the way down, but it hurts, so I have to worry about getting it where it doesn't hurt, I'll just reach for it. Four. And you want to try to push yourself. Don't push yourself for it like when you feel like you're about to die. <laughs> but push yourself enough where it hurts a little bit, but you think you can do it. Hey Alexa, set a timer for one minute. And we'll hold this one for a minute. And don't do this, because that will get you used to leaning to this side. So make sure one hand on each side. And if you do this almost every day, you'll have your splits. Maybe if I, maybe if you have your bad leg split like, like me, maybe in a week. But you have to do it every day. And I can get all the way down. It just kind of hurts when you get all the way down. And soon we're going to rotate to your middle split. Okay, so now you want to stay in the split and just move your hands like this and rotate that leg into your middle split. And hold this for one minute. And make sure you're not like this in a straddle. Make sure you're on top of your split. So, like, so you can even start like this and just slide down. Just make sure you're on top of your split. And we're going to hold this for one minute, too. Hey Alexa, set a timer for one minute. This is what I usually do every day. But make sure your toes are pointed and you're on top of your split. So if you're like, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. Um, you don't want to be like this in your split. You want to be so push yourself up, move your hands forward like that. And if you can do that, but that makes it not really the proper way. So you want to lay down. I gotta get more into my split. Hey, Lex. Okay. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is bridges. So you want to go here, lay down on your back, put your arms by your ears and legs together, and push up. And try your... Now you can see. And try to straighten your legs so you can, like, do it better. 
We're going to hold this for 10 seconds. Okay, now kick over if you can. Now next you wanna get back in the bridge. Back in the bridge and straighten your leg up and tick tock. So what you do is switch legs with straight legs. Five times. So I just did it three times. And you can kick, whoa, kick over. So next I'm going to show y'all a back flexibility drill. So what you'll be needing is just a soft pillow and a couch. So, um, yeah, all you will be needing is a soft pillow and a couch. This might be hard to see me way over here, but get a pillow and put it up by your ears. Here, let me move you up. I think this will be a better spot. But this works your back flexibility. Okay, yeah. So, arms up with the pillow, arms by your ears, look straight forward, fall back into a bridge. And hold it for three seconds. And then get back up. And you just want to do that ten times. So that was my first time. Ooh. It's hard because um, the couch is slippery with the pillow. Like when you fall back. The pillow flips on the couch. Let me try to find a different pillow that didn't sleep. It's hard. At gym, we used a chair and we did it with a cube. Okay. We did it with a cube too. You can actually only do this. Okay, and after you're done with that, I'm going to show you a few stunts stand, um, stunt stand little drills. So, you don't have to use a stunt stand, but you can just do it on the ground. But if you have a decent tear stretch, then you can do this. So, I'll show you the stunt stand I have. So... That's the stunt stand. What have? Let me get it out. So all it is is this block. So and then in this pink bag, and I'm gonna do it right here. But in this pink bag, you can open it, and there's all little different attachments. So this one. It's just a plain attachment, and it kind of adjusts your foot like your base. Here, I'll move this so y'all can see way better. That's not good. But I'll show you all the attachments that you can use. So, this is the first one. It's just like a little thing, and it's like you can't slip on it. And it like adjusts your foot so it feels like bases are holding you like that. So this is just a plain block. I'm going to do my heel stretch. So what you can do is just really do anything on it. Um, any 
anything on it really. Boy your bow and arrow. Um so that's that and you can also do I'll just do a quick little thing. You can also do a scale. And then one more thing. If you have it, a scorpion. Okay. So next thing there is is um this. So this has a little circle on it. And so it spins and it's the same thing, it's just one little block. And so you put it in the middle and it will spin. And then you can also put one of these. It's just that and that. And you can put it on the back side of it. Front side of it, and you can get on and the whole car is not just like okay, but here. One second, I'm still right here in this how to. Here, and you can spin like that. So that allows it to spin. And if you keep your foot on this one, which is the one in front of the spinning one, then it won't work so long. I'm going to keep it on that one. So you well, it kind of will work, but it won't work the best, you know what I mean? But yeah, so the next thing you can do, so you can take this one, and this one just has two little, um, what, not what, I can't think of what they're called, diamonds or whatever, so those and you can front flip it again and so you keep this one that was already on it with the spinning one and put this one in the middle that one in front and then there's one more of these it's the same thing and it like see it has a little imprint of your heel just like that so you can just do that also this one's a little bit more harder. But yeah, you can also do... Um, you can also do... Oops, turn this. You can also do a scale. A scale and a scorpion. Okay, and that's just this dust stamp. I'll move y'all down here to, for y'all to see what it kind of is. So what it basically is, that's the box. That's what it is, and... Um, it really just helps with your, I'm a flyer, so it helps me get better at stunting. Whoa, that was bad. So last thing, this video has been 20 minutes, but the last thing I'm going to do is... Um, so that's all the attachments for the stunt stand. And next, and that's it for this video, but I think my next video is going to be about me tumbling on my tumble track. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!